We're here today on Harbert Road uh, to have a look at this three bedroom, 70 detached house, which comes with ample off-road parking, as you can see, by a tandem driveway, which is wider towards the roadside uh, to provide plentiful parking space. Uh, you've got steps leading down to the front entrance door, which has a canopy and a sliding opaque glazed PVC door. There's also a box window to the front elevation. We're going to go in through the uh, side elevation today and have a look at the accommodation. As we come into the carport you'll see that there's uh, an outside tap, uh, there's also uh, power and a security light with sensor and then you've got folding door to the garage and we've got an opaque glazed panel door leading into the kitchen. Kitchen has a range of panel base alva units providing plentiful storage. There's a stainless steel sink and drain unit set beneath the window, which overlooks the carport. And there's also a four ring wide gas hob and oven. You can see full height tiling to the walls. There's uh, some spotlights to the ceiling as well and laminate flooring. And you see through an archway, there's a breakfast area with breakfast bar with seating and a window overlooking the rear garden. From the kitchen, a glazed panel door leads through into the living room where you've got further laminate flooring. There's a gas fire set to a fireplace with stone chimney breasts. You've got that uh, window to the front elevation. And as we pan round, you'll see there's two individual opaque glazed doors which lead to an entrance porch to the front door that we saw at the start of the tour. You've got an eye level window to side elevation here and a glazed door leads to the stairwell. You've got some uh, decorative beams as also seen in the kitchen in part and then you've got an archway which leads through to the dining area. Laminate flooring flows through into the space you've got coving to the ceiling and you also have sliding patio doors to what classed as a seating area extension of the dining room really but because of the doors does make it an independent space. Decorative beams again and a further set of patio doors overlook the rear garden. We'll uh, go and have a look at the first floor accommodation. Stairs lead to a landing where you've got a window to the side. And then from here, doors lead to all three bedrooms and the shower room. Bedroom one is to the front elevation. We've got uh, mirrored sliding doors to fit a wardrobe down one side of the room. And you've got a window overlooking Harbert Road to the front. Bedroom three is adjacent. Single bedroom as you'd expect, but plenty of storage in here with a double wardrobe with hanging rail. And there's also an overstairs storage cupboard. Bedroom two is a further double bedroom, which has sliding mirrored fitted wardrobes and a further door providing access to an airing cupboard housing the hot water cylinder with shelving above. The window from here has a great view of the rear garden, starts to bring in views of Arnold as well. Finally, the shower room. We've got a shower cubicle with mains pressure shower. WC and wash basin set to a vanity unit with storage comes beneath, full high tie into the walls, so no paint glazed window to the rear, shaver point and tower radiator as well as tiled finished flooring. Let's go and have a look at the rear garden. You've got uh, an enclosed rear garden, which has uh, the benefit of newly fitted timber fencing. Main garden area is lawned, accessed via this door from the carport, as you can see. There's the patio doors back to the sitting room area. And you've got a patio area to the rear of the garden space, as well as our buildings and a summer house. Sword in all, Good property in a uh, popular location close to those bus routes that uh, are really handy for Arnold and surrounding areas, which should prove popular with the family marketplace.